Hello and welcome back to Model Maker Dave's Workbench. Today is a what's in the box. Now I know some of you will say, yeah, he's done one of these before. Well, yes, that is true and I'm not denying that. However, the last one that I did, I knew what was in there. The difference now I don't know what's in there because this only arrived today. Now, you're, I'm recording this at the back end of January. I'm not going to publish this until the back end of February because I don't want to spoil the surprise for anyone who is getting this after I've got mine because I don't think that's fair. So this won't be posted until probably when I get February's box. And then hopefully by then, everybody that's receiving the January box would have had it by then. So, why do I get this? Well, because I like receiving a box that's got stuff in it that I haven't ordered. I have no idea what is in this brown box on my desk. I know there's going to be paints, but I have no idea what manufacturer they're going to be from, nor do I know what colour. There could be some a tool of some sort in here. Last month we had some brushes. This month could be anything. What would I like? I would like something like this. A four grit sanding stick. Because this one's kind of wearing out. And I like these because they're just so easy to use. I don't have to go fishing around for four different ones. I've got it, it's there. I'll pick it up and I can use it and just twist it round as and when I want to for different levels of grip. So one of those would be great, but I kind of don't think it will be. So what else could be in there? Well, there could be some washes, there could be some pigments, there could be some basing stuff. Um, there could be anything in here and I don't know the only thing that I've done to this is take it out of the green plastic bag because it's got me addressed all over it so and I don't want that being on here so yeah now what else would I like I don't know but I just like the idea of being surprised because we still don't know what's in here I do know one thing though, there be some sweeties in here, don't know how many, and I am actually stretching it out a little bit now, because I'm, I'm getting itchy fingers and, and I can hear some faint shouts of, boy, hey, get in the box now, come on, so here we go then, oh, hang on, come on, right, and you'll know that I've not opened this before because the first thing that we will see is we will see January's painting guide which we'll take out and put over there because if we look in there if we open this up and look inside we know what's in there and looking in there will surprise what's in there so now as you can see this is how, if you choose to take up the subscription, and I'm not pl pl pushing anyone to take it up, you know, I do it because I like it, but it will come like this. It will have a seal on it, so we know Dave's not been peeking in here, so he doesn't know what's in here. So... Come 
can't get in the box. And, oh, hello. Ooh. So we got some bubble wrap. Good old bubble wrap. Right, I said there'd be a bag of sweeties, and I weren't wrong. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm. Right, where do we start? So we got paint there, but I don't know who by, or it's a wash. A rust wash by the look of it. Uh, we got some paint there. Um, don't know who that's. Oh, scale. Scale 75. I've never used that paint before. Could be interesting. There's a pot of something there. Now that could be pigment. And we've got a bottle of something here that I've no idea what. So I'm intrigued. What we got? Airbrush and paint. Oh, com art, no paint, no lesson. Shake well before using. No idea what colour it's supposed to be. Right, oh, right. So we got a bottle of that. Um. We go this side, and we've got. Oh, we've got some. Got some Vallejo Mecca. So, what we've got? We've got light rust wash. Mm -hmm. We've got rust texture. That. Oh, interesting. And we've got dark rust wash. Ah. Wish I had this before now, because I could have tried it out on doing the tank. Mind you, it gives me an excuse to do another tank. So what we got here, we've got some fantasy games from scale 75. So what we got, 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 what we got. We've got peanut butter. Okay, if you say so. Oh, well, that's a bit. Ooh. Got a yellow. Now that is that's not just yellow. That's that's ooh. sunglasses yellow. That is right. What else we got? And we got high key yellow. Okay. So we got seven bottles of paint. Washes and uh, pearlescent. Oh, pearlescent. Well, I think we're going to have to read the book to find out what to do with that one. Right, now we've got a pot. we got a small pot. What we got? Oh, hello, what's this? Sapphire blue. It is. Yep. Oh, well, could be. I think it's a metallized pigment of some sort. It's pretty difficult to read the writing. It's it's come from the US. I'll have to have a look in the book and see what it says about that. Right, so we've got I think it's some sort of yeah, it feels like some sort of um, pigment because of the way it's moving around in the pot. Could be interesting. That, you could use that for for doing um, bluing on exhaust pipes or any metal that gets hot. That would actually work quite well by the look of it. Yeah, not bad, methinks. Right. Now, sometimes, but not very often, but sometimes there might be something lurking under, oh, so we, 
Might have been something lurking underneath, but not this time. Oh well, never mind. But that's it. So that's what's come in the January Asset Drop Discovery Box. Um, for anyone interested in taking up a subscription, I will put the link in the description. Um, it's just over £23 a month, and that includes your PMP. Um, and it, every time it comes, it comes just like this. You can get... Um, there's some others. There's a heroin box, which um, is a female figurine and paints and basing stuff and washes and other bits and pieces. There is a monster box, which, oddly enough, has a monster in it. What monster? Oh, no idea. I've never had one, so... So that's that, so you, and you get your book as well. So, yeah, seven bottles of paint, a tub of some sort of pigment, a bag of sweets, and a painting guide. It's an additive. Oh, right, okay. Oh, right, okay. Well, we'll have a read about that later. Yeah, sapphire blue pigment. Ooh, right, okay. Well, we'll have a read and we see where we go with these. But it's not a very big book, but it's enough to tell you about what you've got in there and some ideas on how to use it. But I tend to sort of do my own thing. It's a little bit more fun that way. So, uh, it just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done so, then please subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.